Well, his behaviour has caused a number of women distress and he should apologise. So say the Liberal Democrat leader, the party president and an official inquiry into the conduct of Lord Renard. Yet the former chief executive is continuing to defy the leader by failing to say sorry. What's more, this programme understands he'll formally rejoin his colleagues in the Lords on Monday for the first time in nearly a year when he has the party whip reinstated. Tonight, as a chasm opens up between the leadership and the old guard, Nick Clegg is warned that if Lord Renard remains in the party, women won't want to stand for the party or vote for it. Last year, a series of women alleged that the Liberal Democrat peer, Lord Renard, had abused his power by touching them inappropriately. Yesterday, a party inquiry declared those allegations were credible and that he should apologise, but that it couldn't be proved beyond reasonable doubt that he intended to act in a sexually inappropriate way. Party rules have rendered the leader, Nick Clegg, powerless to discipline him, so he and senior colleagues have resorted to beseeching him to apologise. Well, of course it is frustrating for me where I think that the women have been wronged, where they've been let down by the party, where they are owed an apology and they're not, and they're not being given... They're not being given the apology, which I think they rightly deserve. I cannot be clearer than that. At the end of the day, if someone is not prepared to do the decent thing and apologise to people, I can't frog march them to do so, but I would nonetheless appeal to their basic decency to do it. Well, ever since breaking the story about Lord Renard, I've been repeatedly promised and then repeatedly denied an interview with the party leader, Nick Clegg, about it. Today, he turned up here at the LBC studios to take questions from his listeners on his weekly radio show but he managed to avoid taking any questions from me by going in and out the back entrance. And Nick Clegg may wait some time for an apology from Lord Renard. The party's women may wait even longer for him to leave the Lib Dems altogether, as they've demanded. In fact, I've been told he'll be welcomed back into the fold on Monday when he gets the whip back, entitling him to vote alongside his Lib Dem colleagues for the first time since the scandal broke. I understand that in the past few days, Nick Clegg has repeatedly called his chief whip in the Lords, the man who organises how peers vote here. He was told that he couldn't punish Lord Renard by removing the whip from him because the party had failed to prove beyond reasonable doubt that he'd brought the Lib Dems into disrepute. Dick Newby is the Lib Dem chief whip in the Lords and here's what he told this programme about the Renard affair last year. I think that... Uh, the allegations, which I repeat uh, are unproven as we speak, um, are of a kind of mild kind of sexual harassment uh, which have been pretty common, uh, not just in Parliament, uh, but across many walks of life. Lib Dem councillors and activists warn that a generational and gender divide is opening up within the party with potentially disastrous consequences. There seems to be a, a generational divide of the older members of the party, of course that would include many members of the House of Lords, uh, I feel that this sort of thing is what women have had to put up with. It didn't amount to very much they would feel and uh, so why are they making a fuss? Uh, younger members of the party, uh, particularly younger women, uh, but also many male members of the party uh, do recognise that society has changed and uh, don't feel that this sort of thing is any longer tolerable. If we don't act quickly, we will see um, a drain. I mean, I, I've already spoken to women who are talking about leaving, and I think that would be absolutely disastrous for a party which has at, at its core a commitment to equality and diversity. Nick Clegg has called all the women who spoke to us personally to apologise for his and the party's failings. One of them, his former aide, Bridget Harris, says the Lib Dems are turning into a laughing stock. It's the party's reputation which is at stake here, not Chris Renard's reputation. And I think that really, you know, acting like some kind of vicar of Dibley community group, obsessing over its own internal structures, is an absolute, um, you know, uh, a whitewash to try to avoid the core question here is, does the party have a reputation at stake um, around security of women or not? A senior peer who's previously defended Lord Renard told me if he's got any sense, he'll say sorry. But tonight, he continues to defy the leadership by refusing to do so, leaving Mr Clegg to apologise on his behalf for something Lord Renard continues to deny doing.